and okay this call this recipe that I'm using calls for one and a half to two pounds of steaks but it's only just me and I bought a it's less than a pound so I'm gonna be using half of the uh, what it calls for. I'll put the full recipe. I love the site called the Country Cook net. I'll put her site on there. Um, I have tried several of her recipes and it is so good. So I'm gonna put the crock pot on low and it calls for a half a cup of water but for this I'm only gonna put a third. It calls for a full can of chicken cream of chicken soup but I'm only going to put half of it. Now you don't add salt to this because with all the everything that it needs that it, that's going in here has plenty of salt. If you add salt you're not going to be able to eat it. Okay now sure you could probably add some pepper or, or garlic later. Now I added half a cup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to freeze the leftover. Get some more of this onion in there. I like, okay, onions with my steak. Okay, I'll put a little bit more than a half. Stir that up. Now you're going to put a Joss gravy, where however you pronounce it. Now I'm going to shake that up a little bit to get all the gravy mix. Then I'm going to add half of that in there. Stir that all up. Okay, now you're going to lay your steaks on top. Okay. I put, I'm going to put that. I like, it, it doesn't say to do this, but I like to lay all the uh, flavors all over it. When it's almost done, I am going to add some black pepper to it and a little bit of garlic. Okay, so that's basically it. My top doesn't, the handle came off and I ordered a candle, a handle, and um, I can't get this off. I've tried and tried. It's like stuck on there. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways. Okay, so you cook it for six to, eight hour, six to eight hours on low. Since you only have three steaks under a pound, it probably only take four to six hours. I'll come back in four hours and I'll check to see how the steaks are. Then we'll finish the, the rest of it. it. That's basically all you do. Is It's real easy to get together. All right. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to do the next step. The gravy is thick enough for me. Um, I think what I am going to do is I'll add a little bit more water. You can add a little bit more water if you want. Let me Um, okay, I'm going to add a little bit more water just to uh, get the gravy a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do 
three tablespoons of water and just put it on warm and let it there. And just scrape up the, the um, it's on the top bottom and it'll, it'll thicken, thicken up. And I don't mind the meat being chopped up in some of the gravy. It's, it's good like that. So when I'm, I grew up on country cooking. There, that's, that's looking good. Okay. It calls for three tablespoons of uh, cornstarch and three tablespoons of water, but it's thick enough. I put a little bit more water in there. I'm going to turn it off, actually, because it's still hot. You got a good country meal. It, it, there's some good recipes on there, and I love country cooking. That's what I grew up on. Grew up with uh, garden vegetables, because my parents had a garden. Uh, we'd go pick blueberries and strawberries, and Mom would make pies, and and Dad would get up in the morning and make blueberry pancakes or muffins, and our Mom would. Mom worked after Dad had his heart attack. He he went on disability. But anyway, this is a uh, crock pot. Um, cube steak with gravy. I'll put the recipe below. I'll put the website to the where I get the recipes. And like I said, the other part, the thickening of the gravy is optional. And to me, I don't do it. Put a can of cre uh, cream of chicken soup, can of French onion soup. Um, a, a got a joss. I don't know how to say it. I guess that's how country I am. Uh, gravy mix in there, water, and stir it up. Put the cube steak in there and let it cook, and that's it.